Hello, Zero K fans, and welcome to Nanolathes at Dawn. I'm your host, Shadow Fury 333 with an exhibition match stream for you, and we're going to be starting off with Exploit versus Brock on Badlands. So Exploit, that's a familiar name. Exploit's been playing a lot of 1v1 for a while now. They've been improving a lot, really, in the last little while, which has been very impressive. And we also have... Oh, wow, that's a new effect. Oh, that's how we're... Sorry, I haven't... Apparently, I haven't seen the new engine too much, so I hadn't paid much attention to the build effect. But, yeah. They changed the way the build effect works. Apparently, it's shader-based now, which is awesome, because there's a lot of changes that could be made to that to make it better. Anyway, Brock, I'm not familiar with. I don't know who Brock is exactly. I've never really seen them much before, but I'm glad that they're playing, because it's always nice to have more players. Both players going for Spiderbot Factory. Exploit not really going out with their fleas much. Brock being much faster with the fleas at the start, whereas Exploit not sure what they're waiting for. I mean, they start both players started out pretty much the weaver. Oh no no, Brock just got a weaver, so I think that's the difference. Exploit started out with a weaver and has a bit of a weaker economy at this point. Going for energy right now, pretty strongly, not going as much for the military focus. Or sorry, for the metal focus, I mean. But they have enough metal too. Brock, on the other hand, no, their economy is weaker. My mistake. Yeah, they're actually one metal extractor behind, and exploit. Actually, now two metal extractors ahead. So at this point, Brock is needing to really build up. Much more concerned about their defense than they are their economy right now. And exploit. At this point, is not really too far behind. At this point, they've kind of ceded map control a little bit. Brock's taking the center right now, or at least has some presence in the center. But being that Brock is playing the Spider Factory, that's not going to count for much. Right now, what Brock needs is their economy up. They need their metal going. They need to be able to reinforce that army up front and get this red back up and actually deal with things. That should help a lot. But right now, that is not... That's not happening. The, flea won't be able, the fleas won't be able to do much. But they don't need to fight the Venom. That's the thing. That's what I mean. The spiders don't have a huge amount of presence around here. The fleas can kind of just rush around, find what they find, die, maybe kill things, but usually die. And at this point, Exploit pretty much has the entire ridge taken, so Brock... Oh, Brock actually with an advantage here in the center, taking out Exploit's Venom. But at the same time, Exploit coming around the other side with a couple fleas, that should distract that Venom long enough to get stunned out. And it turns it around. Although, why Exploit is running up to the Venom that... What? Oh, never mind. It deals friendly fire. It doesn't actually deal self-damage. I, for some reason, thought that the, the EMP dealt self-damage. However, this second Venom coming in will stun out its friend. That's the problem. I don't know why Exploit had set up the way they did. But yeah, that's kind of the setup. And looks like Exploit expanding to the southeast... Brock not really expanding much at all. Brock is definitely staying much more in their base. They had a bit of a position early on, but they've pretty much seeded it. And coming with the red... Are they going to come in with the red back? I don't know. That red back could... That red back has a chance right now. If it goes in... Why is it... What is that... What is it doing? It's clearly trying to, but it's getting confused. That's really weird. That's clearly a bug. Like, at this point, that's... This is totally in in Brock's favor. That was definitely weird, though. Brock should have won that far more cleanly than they did. That I don't know what happened there. Very strange behavior. But at this point, Brock has the center of the map. And Exploit taking the southeast. But I don't know how long they're going to hold it for. Defenders are in place trying to help out here. And a recluse coming in to help deal with everything so far. Unfortunately, having a bit of a hard time dealing with units on the top of the hills there. So Brock, I think, in a relatively strong position. They're actually getting a bit of an economic advantage now. Surprisingly, Exploit should have the advantage, but Brock... Oh, Brock taking advantage of Overdrive. Quite a lot, actually, because these would normally be 1.5. They're going to 2.1 thanks to Overdrive. But that's the only thing... Keep, that and Reclaim are the only thing keeping parity with Exploit. So Brock's going to want to be building up a lot more static metal extractors than they are right now. Kind of getting lucky at the Recluse's inaccuracy, but that's that luck is, is not going to last. Recluses aren't as inaccurate as they often seem. They will hit, and they'll hit hard when they do. So Brock's army right now is basically three Redbacks and a Venom. Whereas Exploit's army is a bunch of Recluses. Three Recluses 
And Brock with a Reckless of their own as well, because why not? And that's what those fleas are kind of for, too. That's one of the things that fleas really are nice for in the spider matchup, is getting rid of just stray workers. Oh, is that what it is? Okay, Sprang apparently thinking that the Redback was trying to skirmish the Venom. It was thinking that it was doing the skirm like auto skirmish behavior. Trying to avoid the Venom's fire, but not taking into account the fact that a crest of a hill means you're not getting hit. And that's something that probably needs to be fixed, because that's really weird behavior. Like, auto skirm behavior kind of makes sense, but in that case, it doesn't make sense to forget line of sight blockers like cliffs. Those are super important. At any rate, exploit right in the middle of a skirmish war, but I think exploit's got the advantage here. They're on the backside of the crest of a hill here, whereas Brock's forces are on a flat plane. So as you can see, Brock's shots are getting blocked by the hill, where exploit shots are just barely crossing it. Ooh, and down goes that red back. Yeah, so Exploit right now in a nice position of being able to push back the center. Does have the southeast strongly belonging to them. Brock now getting hit by Exploit's commander with beam laser and not much else, but still beam laser over to the southeast. And Brock's economy no longer able to sustain itself with reclaim. And Exploit over to the northwest as well, so Exploit's pretty much getting the advantage here. Brock had a small period of basically being equal, but they didn't take advantage of that to build up more metal extractors. I'm not sure why. I mean, they lost one of their red, their weavers, which definitely doesn't help. That was probably the big reason. They didn't have a weaver that was supposed to be building this, and they didn't notice that that was happening. They didn't notice the weaver was destroyed, and that they really needed to go and deal with the stuff that the weaver was supposed to build up. And down goes Brock's commander. And I think Brock is probably going to throw in the towel pretty soon at this point. Their center is getting broken, or their cliff, I should say, is getting broken. They don't have the economy to deal with this, and exploit basically can just run roughshod over everything Brock has now. Brock's not even producing anything right now, focusing on getting static defense up instead. That's really not going to help. At all. I don't really know what the, what the idea there is. And now getting resurrection for exploit as well, because why not? Add insult to injury, re resurrect your opponent's forces. Although it doesn't look like that's going to be of much use. I don't know why Exploit went for the Lazarus device. Like, really, remember, Zero K now has custom commanders, or dynamic commanders. You can choose your upgrades during the match. So, unless you really want to resurrect something, the Lazarus device is just like 250 metal you don't have to spend. Our thing is 250. It's fairly expensive, as I recall. I don't really use it myself, so I don't even remember. I used to use it back with the pre-built commanders, because it was a useful thing to potentially have. But when you know whether or not during the match you need it, it becomes less relevant, unless you really need it. So I don't know what the plan is there. I'll be curious to see if some resurrection comes up. But at this point, it's not going to matter. Exploits attack in the main base should be able to finish this off. I mean, Brock not doing a terrible job defending, but that's going to fall. I'm a bit surprised Exploits not going for Hermits right now. I mean, fleas aren't really a great option. The Lotus has countered those, but the Hermits would just tank out everything being shot at them. Allowing, well, allowing them to hit the Recluses for one thing. And also allowing them to possibly get rid of any, uh, well, get rid of the Lotuses. And then the fleas would have an easier time getting in to get rid of the Recluses. Because the fleas are really the counter to Recluse, but Lotuses wipe out fleas. So the Recluses are not vulnerable enough to make that work. Not yet. You need something else to deal with those lotuses before the recluses can get in. Sorry, for the, before the venoms, sorry, the fleas, before the fleas can get in and kill the recluses. And now we're going to see the opposite case where Bro Brock's actually going to be able to come in here and deal a bit of damage. Support flea from exploit helping out a lot, but yeah. Not that easy. And Brock, no, still reclaiming, still not doing great, honestly, but still reclaiming, still setting up. They... They need more weavers, though. They have one weaver. That's their only builder at all. At all. That, that's it. They have no commander. They have no other factors for other builders. That one weaver is the entirety of their build power right now. The entirety of their mobile build power, I should say. 
And I can't say they're doing terrible pushing out, but also Exploit is accessing. They need a couple, another Weaver in their base, or a Caretaker, or just another Factory entirely. That's, that's what they need. But even with that, they're still, they're still doing fine for production. Like, they did excess, but Brock is so far behind that the excess does not matter. It's not going to make Brock suddenly have an advantage of metal production, or metal usage. And Exploit looks like they're going for the kill. Trying to red back, just power the red back through to get rid of the Lotus. Don't agree with that. I would have put a Venom as well just to be able to stun out the Lotus, because, as you can see, the red back dies after killing a Lotus half its cost. No, a third of its cost. Not value. At this point, Exploit does not need to care, though. So yeah, that's... kind of sad, but... at this point, Brock really just... they need more builders, they just don't have a huge amount of time to set them up, and I think they actually lost their one Weaver. No, they it's over here, never mind. It's alive for now, it's probably soon gonna die. But yeah, that's the thing, Brock really needs a lot more production, a lot more workers. Both for reclaim and to be able to build up static metal extractors to actually have a better strong economy without reclaim. But it's kind of late for that. I mean, if they push this away, there's a chance they'll like, have a very small window of setting that up, but even then, it's such a tiny window. And they don't have enough Venoms to deal with the Fleas. They have the Lotuses that are kind of helping, but even then, there's a lot of Fleas here. If that Flea gets to the Weaver, that's going to be... Well, if it wasn't game already, it'll definitely be game now. Or once that happens, if that happens. But no. Reckless is still managing to get through the Fleas. I'm a bit surprised Exploit's not keeping the Fleas separate when dealing with those, like pulling them into a circle. Not sure why not. That's a strange thing to... Like, really, put them in... No, they're line moving. Exploit is line moving. It's like just... Line move into a circle around, so you have these fleas, and it's like, just circle around it. Or do this kind of thing. That'll work. You'll be able to get around it. Recklesses will only be able to kill one or two fleas at a time, not the entire group, and the metal extractor will die just as quickly. And given that there's no need for the metal extractor to provide cover in any particular direction, that should work fine. There's no reason not to do that. Anyhow, exploit basically just trying to bum rush Brock to kill them. And I'd say it's working. Yeah, well, as I say it's working, right? As Exploit wins and Brock surrenders. So, definitely a game where Brock... Sh like, it, it came down to economy. It came down so hard to economy. I mean, Exploit, even with their excess, and the excess was only 1,000 metal. They were 5,000 metal... or 6,000 metal used ahead, and a little over that produced ahead. So, yeah... That really, I mean, Brock reclaimed a lot, but didn't have the static economy to make that really work. And they didn't excess any, but they had hardly any to begin with. So yeah, that really just came down to not even having anywhere near the same economy. I'm just surprised that Brock didn't take the north side or build any more weavers. They started to, but yeah, it's one of those things you gotta pay attention to. Anyway, next match is going to be a little bit higher level. It's going to be Hellwar and North Chilean G on Valus Madonatus. Stay tuned for that. It'll be up in a couple of moments, or a couple of minutes.